Wow, uh, it's, it's really a pleasure to be here this evening and particularly with my terrific co-chair, Louise Parent. Uh, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for being here and for the tremendous outpouring of support. You know, I hesitated when I was first asked to join the board of the center. After all, it's about women. And why should a man be a part of the governing body of an organization devoted to women's rights? And then I thought about my mom. Yes, why not? So I thought about my mom. And in 1960, when she was one of seven women in her law school class at Yale, one of her professors, a male professor, asked her to unregister for his class. Why? Because he wanted to teach the class at an all-male eating club. Her experience made me think about the world in which my sister and my wife grew up, and the kind of world I want to live in, and the kind of world that I want for my boys. We don't have that world yet but the center's work will help us get there. And I am grateful to be a part of that. I'm also proud to be here on behalf of a company committed to a world like that as well. At J.P. Morgan Chase, we work to recruit women and help them succeed to create partnerships with women-owned businesses, to create opportunity for women and girls in communities that need it most. We see that as more than a right. It's something we at J.P. Morgan Chase think we know a little something about. It's an investment in our country. And there could be no better investment than the one you've made tonight. We must continue the fight to end discrimination against women. On an evening when we honor heroic women, when we're honored by the presence of the President of the United States, your investment allows us to continue that fight and win it. 